Hello, welcome back to Showbiz Entertainment, and I am still your reviewer. Three, the movie three, uh, a Rocky pre-equal, starring Michael B. Jordan, uh, and of course the great uh, Sly Sylvester Stallone. Uh, wow. Okay. Before I say this review, I just want to say I was very skeptical about this movie doing anything at all on the box office, doing anything of uh, doing the Rocky movies any justice. And I have to say, and I was entirely wrong about that opinion. Uh, this is not this is not uh, uh, a Rocky film that you are uh, uh, per se really. It's more like you know, like it's kind of it's taking off. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Apollo Creed, his son, he's. Uh, is uh, his his son, and this movie is definitely uh, every everything that you not expect it to be. You're you're kind of like you look at it. You at first glance, you're like, okay, this movie's not gonna be. This movie's not again not gonna be on my best best of uh, 2015 lit movie list. But um, I, I I definitely was wrong about this movie, and um, I give this. I give this movie all, all the credit it deserves, that's for sure. And, um, okay, sorry, Michael B. Jordan. If you guys know his work a little bit, he's uh, definitely worth every every cent, every penny. And this movie was a um, uh, budget of $35 million and it was directed by Cogler and uh, co-produced by Robert Chartoff and, uh, of course, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Okay, this movie is about it's a, a it's you can't really I don't really compare this to any of the Rocky movies. It's basically it's just a, more of like a standalone film, and um, you see you see uh, uh, um, Apollo Creed's son, and he's he he has no idea that his about his father. He doesn't really it, 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 the only thing you know the only flaw of this movie he doesn't really like he cared much about his father. Or he really, uh, he re never, he's kind of like that. He never knew his father or anything like that. So he was, he's kind of doesn't really care too much to hear about it. But, um, you know, other than that, it, he, he's kind of like in the same situation as, uh, as Ro as Sylvester Stallone was in the original Rocky film. He's basically, you know, he's down on his luck. He's trying to, he's fighting, he's trying to get to the top and he's, uh, he's not a, a lone sharky per se, but, you know, he's not, uh, a, and so he, but he's he's trying to he he's trying to uh, find find that extra something deep inside to to become a world champion to become the uh, the top of his game, and uh, you know and then of course he meets up with with Stallone and and he he and he ends up I love the scene uh, you know you guys saw probably saw the trailer also on it uh, where he goes to Stallone's movie restaurant and that he had in the uh, the last movie he did uh, Rocky Balboa and he's there you know it's just and once you see Sylvester Stallone in this movie, it's just not Rocky without it. But it, honestly, if, if Stallone wasn't in this movie, it would have been weird. But I, I don't think it would have mattered because Michael B. Jordan could carry this film on, on his own. And um, I'm very impressed by this guy. He's definitely one of the newest and best actors in Hollywood that has to offer right now because all you know, a lot of aging actors that are uh, you know, fading off into oblivion already. So we have these new crop of actors like Michael B. Jordan that that are delivering on all fronts. So um, he he it's a, it's kind of the same scenario as the original Rocky movies. It's just like they're trying to create that that Oscar winning uh, uh, Rocky. Uh, you know, of course, uh, Rocky was nominated or won an Oscar in 1976. So uh, it's kind of creating that that feeling of it, and and I, lo I love the way they do it. It's very seamless the way they did it, and. Um, like and, uh, and uh, okay, then, uh, to the fight scenes, uh, the, the boxing matches. Uh, this is what I'm noticing about boxing movies now. It's it's less entertainment and it's more reality based. It's not like uh, uh, on uh, like on Rocky Four when he fights and uh, he fights Ivan Drago and, and you know that's a, and, and and there's a lot of uh, you know like a lot of a lot of bad editing. Even though that's Rocky Four is my favorite Rocky movie, by the way, guys, to my subscribers. But um, this is more like a, more it 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 looks like uh, like uh, you see Mayweather going against like um, uh, Matty Pacquiao or something like that. It's kind of, it's it's a lot like that. It's uh, I'm not gonna, definitely not comparing Michael B. Jordan to Mayweather, but 
it's it, it's more reality you get to see you really you see the action uh, happening you see the and uh, what uh, what i understand it's a lot of these uh, uh these fight scenes were uh, filmed in one shot so that's 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 awesome so and of course uh, you don't have to look any further michael b jordan he's the, the guy trains like a like like a real fighter anyway so uh, it, it worked, you know, and, and the fight scenes were amazing. And oh, and Sylvester Stallone, wow! Sylvester Stallone, it's like he had so much passion when he came into this movie. This is his movie, by the way. He made this movie a household name. Rocky Balboa is a household name. So um, he 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 really he really gave this movie a whole lot of levity, and he was he was just amazing on this movie. And it, it's it really I I, I kind of I kind of don't like what they said about it, the last Expendables movie, but I I I love I think he did I did he did an, a great job. It's definitely uh, Academy Award winning, uh, Oscar worthy, Golden Globe, whatever you want. Uh, you you could you could you could place Stallone in all those categories because he does for Best Supporting Actor and um and of course you obviously you can't put a uh, boxing gloves on him again. Expect him to go in there, but. You know, he, he's, it's like he, he shines on this movie, basically, it's just a prequel. And about the Apollo Creed character on this movie, the only thing I, that, that, that's my complaint about, really, is my complaint about this movie is, in general, about the Apollo Creed character, because the first three Rocky movies, he was awesome. Uh, Carl Weathers, he's, I, my hat's off, off to him. I want to give him, like, a kind of shout out to Carl Weathers, because he was uh, amazing, amazing, amazing actor. And, uh, you know, but you don't really... You don't really like uh, get the, the notion that Apollo Creed is because the movie is called Creed and that is his son, so you don't really you don't really see any, that do any justice for him, and he's definitely an honorable mention. And, and I love Sylvester Stallone, and but what, it's like all out of all the 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 Rocky villains you saw or opponents on all the movies. Okay, you're gonna remember only really uh mr t or maybe uh ivan drago right but no the one you're going to remember is apollo creed that's who you're going to remember in this and those movies so and but when he gets like i said he gets mentioned is that it's just i don't know it's just i didn't i didn't like the way they they if they really if they you kind of hear stallone or you kind of hear rocky balboa talking about him and it, and that that's that's basically what basically it and i and that's the my only complaint for this movie and I definitely give this movie uh, I give this movie a 10 out of 9. I give this movie 4 stars, okay? I give this movie 4 stars. Because, uh, like, like I said, this is... Uh, would I watch this movie again? Is it a straight-to-DVD? No. Uh, actually, correction. I would watch this movie again. And finally, when I get it on DVD, and we'll see if I'm gonna uh, watch this movie annually, like I've seen you know, the rest of the uh, Rocky movies. The only, you know, the only Rocky movie I didn't see uh, a whole lot of really is Rocky Balboa, even though I watched it. I sat down, I watched it a couple times, but that's the only. But out of all the other Rocky movies, uh, that's the only one I didn't really watch. So we'll find out, I guess. Anyways, okay, this is Showbiz Entertainment. I'm still over.